All right, man. Andre 3000's um, flu album out sales a bunch of rappers. Just let you know where you're at in the rap game at this point, man. Um, let's talk about it. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Um, so, uh, and it's an album. His new album, New Blue, Blue Sun, is uh, it's just him playing the flute on the album. So, technically, this is his uh, debut uh, solo album, even though we all know speaker box love below was two solo albums combined into one which i still say the speaker box was the better album but the love below was more commercial hey uh, but i do love you are the prototype i do love that song um but andre 2000's new blue sun i performs i perform two uh i perform 20 2023 first week sales for little wayne nas and more it says the instrumental project debuted at 30 on the Billboard 200, moving 24,244 uh, albums equivalent units in its opening week. And that's just fan power. That's just, you know, fan power. That's exactly what that is. That's just fan power of, of that shows the fire, the, the firepower of his fan base. And people was just supporting it off the strength. And they tell you that. If people mess with you, they're going to support, they're going to support, they're going to support you. You know what I'm saying? And people and people mess with uh and people mess with Andre 3000. You know, even you know what? Almost 20 years later, if not 20 years later, from when they dropped the speaker box love below. You know what I'm saying? And they they did Ida Wild after that, but you know, that was a movie soundtrack or whatever, however you want to call that. So people still mess mess with them. Andre 2000 new uh, instrumental flute album has delivered impressive numbers on the Billboard charts, as reported by Hits Daily. A double new Blue Sun the album name debut 30th on the Billboard 200 this week, after moving 24,244 album equivalent units. Even more, Three Stacks' latest offering managed to outsell recent albums from rappers such as Lil Wayne, Nas, Kodak Black, Westside Gun, Ice Spice, Lil TJ, and more. He said the rappers out of uh, 3000, Andre 3000 outsold with uh, his flute album. I mean, Yo Gotti, DJ Drama. Uh, let me get the whole list. Hold on a second. Yup, uh, Yo Gotti, DJ Drama, Real Boston Richie, French Montana, West Side Gun, Ray Shermer. Then you know they still was rapping. Macklemore, Kodak, Lil Wayne, Ice Spice, ESTG. Lil TJ, Logic, and Nas. Not Logic fucking retired. So that's 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 the equivalent of making classic music. You always have a classic fan base. You always had that fan base. This is why you know 50 Cent able to tour and I'll sell, you know, sell out arenas and shit like that. It's why Jeezy able to still tour. You know what I'm saying? This is why. This is why I'm hot. When you make timeless, consistent music, don't nothing beat that. And then my boy, rest in peace to Biz Marmite and Bar Biz Marquee. Nothing beats the Biz. Wiz, what'd he say? Come on, man. And at the end of the day, bro, um, at the end of the day, I just feel that, you know, he just he support. Support. This is why you still see, you know, you know, Walmart have supporters and and, and companies that's been around a long time continue to have grandfathered in supporters. And this and this is and this is and this is what you're getting. And I heard a bunch of people say on the internet that you know I'm gonna support this. I'm gonna support this album just because Andre is Andre 3000. That's real. You know, and don't nobody really buy albums no more. I, at, at, at some point, you wonder when people just why you know you at one at some point you probably gonna get a point where people just gonna drop singles. That's all they gonna drop is singles. Cause ain't nobody buying albums like that no more, bro. They not. That's that's part of the digital era. 
everybody get on Spotify and they 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 uh just you know putting the playlist together and listening to it that way. Ain't nobody really listening to albums no more. I mean, we used to get the album, read the album cover, you know what I'm saying? You know, share albums, blast it, listen to what they were saying, trying to decipher what they saying. You know what I'm saying? You know, I'm, you know, put it in a CD collection or whatever. You know, that's when it was cool. I remember we were still doing tapes. I remember while we were still doing tapes. Buying the No Limit uh, tape cassettes or all the No Limit albums. You know? So, yeah, I remember all of that. But uh, but yeah, this is what you call unwavering support. That's what you call this unwavering support, and to a certain extent, it's blind support because he wasn't rapping on this. They some people supported this just off of who he is. Now you already seen you know rappers try to volunteer and rap over some of his flute instrumentals. You already you already start seeing that come to fruition. Multiple rappers say, "Well, let me hop on that, and I want to rap over this, and I want to rap over that." You know what I'm saying? So he gonna make some more money off of it. He can come out with the, the you know Lupe Fiasco came out said he wanted to do it. He can basically come out with a with an album with a with a remix version of the album of people rapping over his beats. So he really can clean up. Then if he want to. He can come out with the version of the album, right? He can come out with a version of the album with him rapping over it. He can milk this shit if he want to. And I'm, I'm sure he not he not probably in the business of doing that, you know. But boy, if he never met Erica Badu, he probably still he he probably we would have probably still got some more classic shit out of him. Anybody she running to, she do something to their ass. No cap. You know? That's why people, some people turn around and call her a witch. I don't know what she is, but whatever. She got some shit like that. I don't even want nothing that's going to add me acting like that. I'm good. Shit at all. But, you know. He was part of he was part of a legendary duo, man. And he was the more popular version of that duo. And he was very skilled, but you know, he did a, you know, he met Erica Badu. He started doing crossover shit. That's just what it is. He started doing crossover shit. You know, and at the end of the day. You know, Ice Cube rapped about, you know, rappers crossing over and true to the game. When he talked about Hammer, and they said Hammer allegedly ran up on him and checked him for that shit. And he said, yes, sir, and all that. But, you know, people start seeing that money come in. It's no different than these ninjas on YouTube. You know, when they start, they find out, they find, you know, what worked. Then, you know, they start running with it and switch their whole act up for the bread. And that's just how they come in. I ain't mad get your money. Get your money. You, what may say? It used to be murder. He said, used to be murder. P. Diddy named me pretty. Did it for the money. Now, can you get with me? <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, man, let me know what you girls and guys think. The thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Subscribe button. It's the bell icon button. Hit all notifications, increase your chance, get notifications. We go live and drop video. Check out the music entertainment playlist, more videos like this. Hit the link tree. You can find me on Twitter, Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, the whole nine. Check out my new channel, Free Game 89, FR33 Game 89. That link's in the link tree in the description. Also, check out my Detroit channel, Mercy Sports Talk, more sports, music, news, entertainment. Peace.